again do-it-yourselfers Terry Peterman the internet electrician and welcome to another one of my video shorts on current topics at electrical-online.com and of course posted right here on YouTube so stepping out of my expertise area a little bit however as electricians we often have to do things that are just complementary to our trade and not just as a part of our trade so many times we're asked to add a receptacle for the television perhaps which we've done up here and uh, then you people will ask you to do the wall mount as well for the TV so the good folks at mountingdream.com mountingdreamonline.com reached out to me and asked me if I would do an installation video featuring one of their wall mounts and this is going to be a, a articulating mount uh, an adjustable mount and it's for a 55 inch TV so let's get started and show you exactly how to do this step by step all right, so before you order your mounting dream TV wall mount, there's three critical things they need to know so that they ship you out the correct model of wall mount. They need to know your TV model number. They'd like to have a photo of the back of the TV. And then they want to know the wall mount type, whatever you're mounting it to, be it drywall on studs, plywood on studs, straight wood or concrete perhaps. And in our case, we're mounting it onto vinyl siding, which is gonna present some unique challenges in itself. So I'm gonna kind of focus on that because you want that TV to be secure, but with vinyl, of course, it protrudes out from the OSB plywood that the plywood is sitting on top of studs on 14 or 16 inch centers. So you need to find those studs, eh? And then you need to make it nice and safe and secure without squishing in your siding and uh, you want it safe, of course. You want to make sure that the TV is not going to fall off the wall, injuring or worse somebody, and you know, of course the, the danger of ruining your TV. So ours is outside, underneath our covered awning area. We've got a glass top covered awning, so it's out of the weather, but it is outdoors. So this is going to be a perfect uh, wall mount for us. It's going to be a full motion wall mount. It's the MD2296. I'll leave all applicable links in the description below the video. So I've got the instruction manual. This one's for, like I said, a 55 inch TV. And they start you off with mounting the brackets on the back of the television. So let's do that. Okay, so opening up the installation instructions. First it tells you what's all included, of course. You've got uh, the mounting dream bracket itself, some cable straps, a uh, cute little plastic level, about a four inch level they send for you and an HDMI cable as well. So they've kind of thought of everything with this TV wall mount. So let's go again, you know, the things you need to make sure before you get started is your TV VESA. So that would be your, your uh, bolt pattern on the back of it. Is that equal to or greater than, and then for this, this uh, case of this model number, it can't be no less than 24 by 16 inches, equal to or less than. So. Mine complies with that. Does your TV include accessories? Including accessories weigh less than 100 pounds. Yes, mine does, or I probably couldn't lift it. Well, I probably could, but I need help. What's your wall made of? Of course, we've already gone through that. I'm going to be mounting on vinyl setting, siding on OSB plywood with uh, studs on 24, or sorry, 16 inch centers behind. So that's what, what that's made of. The installation tools you need, I've got all that together. We need a tape measure, pencil, screwdriver, uh, power drill, cordless drill, and a half inch socket wrench. And we need some bits and an awl and a stud finder. So we have all that. So first step is to mount the bracket to the TV, attach the brackets to the TV. So these are the TV brackets. And you, you've got all your hardware, of course, included. So attaching the TV brackets, you want to make sure you orient these the right way. The clip at the bottom hooks at the top, so you mount one here and the other one. On the holes, you see my mounting pattern is probably about a 10 by 8 inch pattern here. And then you just pick the holes that line up best with your bracket. And we're going to go with...
Those two appear to be about right. I'm going to keep it down low. So I've got them lined up here, here in a big slotted mount, here and here. Now, of course, then they ask you about spacers needed. They send you all kinds of spacers. Handy little tip here, never throw out these bags of spacers. I can't tell you how many times I've kept these and, and put them to use. And we're going to be putting them to use, I think, to, to mount the wall plate onto the siding as well. So I don't need any because my, my uh, nuts, the backing nuts in the TV here, come right out to the surface. So all I'm going to need is the appropriate length screw and a washer. All right, so looking at the instructions, they give you detail on which screws to take out of the package. We needed the B screws of the appropriate length and A or B, but we chose the B for the right length. The washer is either going to be a K or an L. And so I've selected the, open the package of the correct washers. And we need the L. I picked the K at first. Here's my washers. And like I said, don't throw anything away. Those other washers are going to come in handy for you on another project down the road. So washer through the machine screw. And repeat that for all four of these screws on your TV brackets. Okay, I have a Put in one, two, three, and finish off with number four. Make sure you're not cross-threaded. Should spin in with your finger pressure, and then just give them a good tightening once you've got all four in place. Okay, I've completed step one. Now we're going to go outside to do step two. But before we do that, I have a stud finder that is just not capable of finding those studs going all the way through the vinyl siding, through the OSB plywood that's on top of that, and then finding the studs. Even with my deep scan function, I couldn't find them. So what I'm going to have to do is go inside, find those studs, landmark off a window frame, and then I can go outside and measure and hopefully hit those studs dead center for my wall plate mounting screws. So I'll show you inside here how I have to measure from the wall out after I find the studs with my stud finder. All right, so just a quick segment here to tell you how I landmarked my studs from the inside to the outside. As you can see the window casing here, that's consistent right through to the other side. So that's going to be what I'll landmark off of. Now I'm going to check where the studs are on the inside of the wall. So place my stud finder against the wall, hold the button as per the manufacturer instructions. As you can see, I'm detecting power there because I'm right near this switch. Okay, and we just slowly move over. There's the edge. There's the center of a stud. So now I just have to measure from that. And to the inside of my casing, window casing is about 14 and a half inches. So that should hold true outside as well. Then I just go 14 and a half from that window casing and measure over on 16 inch centers and I'll know where my studs are out there on 16, 32 and 48. So we'll see how that works out outside. All right, so here I am outside and now that's that same window I landmarked off the casing on the inside. So here we are outside. And it was 14 and a half over from that casing to the first stud. So going back a half an inch on 16 inch centers here, 31 and a half is, should be one stud. And my other one's gonna be at 47 and a half. So of course I just wanna drill holes in here, make certain that I'm in the stud. And you'll know if you're in a stud or not when you drill a pilot hole, you'll feel it. If you're not, it'll just spin out once it goes through the plywood and the vinyl siding. So let's make sure we've got studs. Then we can use the appropriate spacers to go in here so that we can get a good solid leg bolt right through the siding, into the, through the plywood, into the stud, 
and then using a spacer of the correct distance, we'll be able to mount that plate completely flush with the vinyl siding, yet firmly mounted to the wall structure itself. All right, so with my best guess on where the studs are, we're gonna put the template they provide you up here and mark my holes. Now, they send you that little level, or you probably have a level. They want you to stick that here to make sure that you level your template before you screw it onto the wall. But I don't need to because it's more important here that things are lined up with the siding rather than level, because maybe the siding's not level. But either way, what you're gonna see with your eyes is the siding, not whether it's perfectly level or not. So I'm just gonna tuck this template up under the one ridge and I'm going to try to catch just below the high part of the siding here and just under the high part of the siding here and then I'll use those spacers so that'll bring my plate out flush with the siding so we're going to try that first thing I got to do is get my drill and see if I've actually got a stud behind here okay so to space that out even with the highest part of the siding I found these spacers along with two additional smaller spacers brought me out to the right depth or thickness to get me that mounting plate mounted flush now you can see my top two holes here I've got marks from my other uh, wall mount that I had here before that wasn't a full motion you can see here though that I couldn't quite get to the right under the lip of the siding here. So there is a bit of a, a movement here to get that when I get that tight, it's gonna push that siding in flat. So I have to decide whether I might just make that hole a little bit bigger so that these spacers fit right against the plywood instead of pushing on that siding and pushing it out of, out of level or out of flush. So I think I might do that, I'll probably widen these two holes so that the spacers go right against the plywood and like i mentioned or may not have mentioned before i think we're probably going to be removing this siding next year in our renovation project but the whole interior was this year so i think the exterior might wait for this for next year so i'm not too worried about putting some extra holes in my siding here because it's in all likelihood going to be replaced and if not it's going to be hidden behind the tv and it's out of the weather here All right, so I got three of the leg bolts in. Just tightening in the fourth, and then I'll make sure it's level before I suck those down good and tight. They send you a little, uh, almost like a spark plug wrench, in case you didn't have a good ratchet, but you need a good, good uh, ratchet with a half inch deep socket is way better for this. But it's nice of them to send a tool because uh, a poor tool is better than no tool at all when it comes to trying to get a job done and if you aren't quite fully equipped. So I'm gonna suck these right down tight. And once they're tight against the spacers, bracket should be flush with the siding and we're not squishing the siding down in what we're actually tightening to is the spacers and that's good and solid if a fat guy like me can't pull it off TV's not gonna take that off the wall so they say to make sure it's gonna hang gonna support at least a hundred pounds while I'm about a hundred and who knows, 80, 70. So if I can hang from that bracket, that TV shirt certainly can. So there you have it, the wall bracket mounted firmly on the wall. And you can see I'm not forcing in that siding at all. And I'll give you a nice tight shot of how those spacers are in behind the bracket with the leg screw leg bolt on the outside with the washer on it and then those spacers in behind holding that bracket out away from the siding 
the high side of the siding yet tight to the wall. So that bracket is good and solid. Moving on. All right, so referring back to our instructions, they go through a few other mounting options for the plate, depending on your construction material you're mounting to. And if your studs happen to be further than 16 inch centers, then there's some solutions for that. However, now we have to go to step three, which is hang and secure the TV to the wall plate. So we have to put the extension arms all together as shown in the instructions. And then we do another test to make sure it's all good before we hang the TV. So let's move on. So following along the instructions now, step three is putting these support extension arms in place, you should say. You line them up with the holes here. And we have machine screws provided to, to lock that into place. Four pieces to make two extension arms. And same top and bottom. And then they have these support bars that go on the ends with their appropriate screws, one on each one on each side here. And the hardware package includes the machine screws, machine bolts numbered 04, and spin them in with your Allen wrench that they also provide. Finger tight at first. And then turn your wrench around to get extra leverage and tighten those down firmly. Using my left hand just for the camera angle here, being right handed. Not a quite as easy as with the right hand. But ever since I learned to walk and chew bubble gum, I've learned to use my left hand when needed. Now we put the support bars on. Okay, I've got two on this side mounted with the screws in. I'm just finishing up the fourth one here. And again, tighten those down firmly after they're all in place. All right, that's done. Now again, I did this before the wall plate installation integrity test, which I already did. They say, pull down on it, make sure it's solid. You saw me hang from it. What they do say is don't pull away like this and try to pull it off the wall straight out because all your strength needs to be sheer strength more than away from the wall strength. But either way, with those four leg bolts, this bracket's not going anywhere. Now let's get the TV. Okay, time to hang my TV. Now the instructions say have two people for this. I don't have two people here right now, but this TV, I don't think even weighs 50 pounds, let alone 100. So it shouldn't be too hard. I've got to work my way in here. I'm actually sitting on top of the hot tub cover. So lift that TV up. And a feel for the brackets. I can kind of look behind and there I have it hooked on the top bracket I believe. I want to take my arm off it in case it's not. But looking in behind, yes. I'm hooked where I need to be. So now I need to pull it out and I'll show you what we have to do to flip the locking, locking tabs into place hold that TV from pulling up and out and falling off. Okay, so you can see I've got this locking tab in place and they just fasten in with the last machine screws in your package, two of them, Phillips head, and you tighten down those screws and that locks your TV onto the extension arm so that you can see you have to be able to lift this up to get it off of that extension arm and with it locked into that slot and the tab in place TV can't come off of the bracket so you can see this full range full motion 
wall mount we have here, how it works. So this expands outward. Let me just move the camera a little bit. These can stretch right out so you can move the TV further away from the wall and then it swivels all directions. And you can adjust your angle by loosening off this and you can either make it more level or more of an angle downward. I'll be using it in the full tilted downward position because I've got it relatively high here to make sure I keep the TV up and out of the weather but yet a good viewing angle for when we're in the hot tub or when we spin the TV around to see it from our outdoor table here and here's the TV in the normal position it'll be in for us sitting on the wall in the hot tub as you see right there below it so there you have it another completed project from the internet electrician that's the model MD2296 from Mounting Dream and you can get yours at mountingdreamonline.com thanks again for watching make sure you pick up one of these if you're looking for a TV mount full motion wall mount because these are very quality products I uh, endorse them entirely it's solid it's um, well manufactured I recommend this product so thanks again for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out more videos. If you click that notification bell, you'll be the first to know when I release a new video. So from me, the internet electrician, to you, thanks again and we'll see you on the next one.